how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video about what an enum is. Just because I was kind of confused myself over what it was. And so I just thought I'd make this and maybe someone will find it helpful to them as well. So basically, if you think of an enumerator, basically it's a list. It does not store a variable and it goes hand in hand with a switcher. So you can almost think of it as basically the switcher namer, almost like the widget switcher there is. It's almost like, it's also like an index where the name is associated with a number, an integer like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how it's working kind of under the surface. So let me just give you kind of a goofy example to show you how this works. So to create this, first we're gonna create just a, a blueprint just so we have one. So in here, I'm just going to make a blueprint and we're just going to put a sphere in here. And that's all. That's all we're going to do. We're going to compile and save it. And then we want this because we're going to create a variable here in just a second. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and right click, go into blueprints, go into enumerator and think of it as a, a list to which a index value is associated. So we'll call this test double click into it and there's not much here so we're just going to click and this is a silly example but I'm just going to put let's type in love and then we'll type in freedom and this is a list of names right that's all it is it can be whatever you want Nirvana and let's just do another one happiness <laughs> So it's just a list and the values, you can't see this under the hood, but this would be zero, one, two, three. So, so the name of this list is going to be test. I save it and it has love, freedom, nirvana, and happiness. And you, this is basically worthless without a switcher. So, so basically these are the names of switches you can think of it as. So if we come in back in here to, well, we can go into first person and there's our enumerator there. And let's say we want to print out a string for each one of these spheres that are we have. And so let me go into this blueprint here and let's now make a variable and we'll call this test display. And then we're gonna set the variable to our enumerator and it was called test, I believe, right? It's an enumerator right here. And then we're gonna click this to make it instance editable. So we'll compile and save this. And now if we look at here at our variable, you can see our default values are those words that we put in there, right? But these are not variables. Even though this is a, appears to be a variable, it doesn't store anything. It's just storing the names, these names and their associated index number, but it's not actually meant for storing any data. And that was what was confusing me was that the enumerator does not store data. It's just a, the name of a switch. It also has an associated index value. So now if we come in here back into our first person and let's say we drag one of the spheres on to the scene right here and then if we come down here you can see we can let's say we can give it a name and let's say we're going to call this one love right and i can drag another sphere on here and let's say i want to set set it to freedom and then i can drag another sphere on here and let's say i'll call this one nirvana so i have these three spheres and they all now have a numerator name associated with each, with each one. So what can we do? How can we see this working? Well, all I have to do is go back into the blueprint here, go into the event graph, and I can just say on, begin, play. And like I said, I can search for switch. And I should see it down here, the choice of it. Uh, switch switch on test so see there's our names so that's what I was saying when you think of an enumerator you can't really think of it separately from this idea of a switch because basically it's a name for a switch and then from this switch we can call 
make all different kinds of things start happening. So here, all we're gonna do is just print a string and we'll say print string and we'll just say, I don't know, just say this is love. And then from the freedom print string and I can call this, this is freedom. Did I spell that wrong? Okay. And then from this one, Nirvana, I'll just copy this, Control D. We can pull this into here, and this will say, this is Nirvana. Okay. And then what we do is we can pull up our test and call it get. And now what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull the values from our names that we have put up here. So we'll hit compile and save. So now this is gonna pull the names that we've named each of those spheres, and then it will print, it should print out all these restatements. So if I come back here and I hit play, you'll see it's printed out the three names. Of course, they don't stay on the screen very long, but this is Nirvana, this is Freedom, this is Love. So it's basically just a way to create the names of switches that you wanna have different outcomes happen for something. And then you give that outcome a name or that choice a name. And then once that's selected and it's called through or set, then it'll make that happen. So I hope this sheds a little bit of light on what an enumerator is, but basically think of it as a way to give names on a switch function. Take care, have a great day, and I hope you found this helpful.